You are barking up the wrong tree. Fufu is on me. Come to mine at half past eight. You want it if you come to me. Check it. Ah, check the rice. Don't you know it's a special rice? It's also called jollof rice. Yay! You bend the stew. What are we going to do with the rice? Are we going to eat it with food? Oh, oh, oh. Turn the cooker on before you burn the jollof. Turn the cooker on before you burn the jollof. Petit pizza, I will sweet it up for you. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question as to why did I move to Joburg? And I know the big question that everybody has is why not Cape Town? Why not Pretoria? Why not Durban? Why not um, PE? I'm saying that it's home to me is because if you didn't know this about me, I'm actually from Madran Tbilisi, so um, Joburg is actually close to home, and I wouldn't want to move anywhere further from home so I can be closer to my family. So yeah, that's part of the that's one of the reasons why I chose Joburg over any other city actually. So. Mm -hmm. Joburg is the land of opportunities. Every single person in the country knows this, whether you're based in Cape Town, whether you're based in Joburg. If you want to achieve more in life, if you want to be successful, you need to be in Joburg or Johannesburg for that matter, or in Gauteng, let's be honest. Because even when there's opportunities in Cape Town, there isn't uh, the same level of opportunities in Joburg. Joburg has more opportunities. You can ask people like Ricky Rick, Blackie, Nasty C, those are industry people and there's also certain levels of business opportunities that happen within the Johannesburg radius, the city of Johannesburg. Let me just say that. So it quite it made sense for me since I really want to be successful in what I'm doing and my best bet is Joburg. So that's another reason. You know what I mean? Well, the other thing is, Joburg is as beautiful as it is dangerous. Well, the, the thing that makes me say that is because Joburg is the same as any other big city in the world. I mean, take for New York, for example. People always talk about New York in a positive light, but they never talk about the negative side of New York. The same with Paris. The same with um, well, London. The same with every other city in the world. There is no city in the world that's as perfect as it claims to be. Crime exists everywhere. And I know from some South Africans, they say, ah, but in Joburg, hey, hey, hey. It's not that, it's not like when you get off a taxi, you immediately get mugged. No, it doesn't work that way. But there's certain areas in the city that you could get mugged and in some certain, and in some areas are just very beautiful. You know what I mean? So, if you think that you will get mugged in Joburg, chances are you would. If you're a dumbass though, but I'm not trying to sell a perfect picture of Joburg, no, I'm trying to sell a positive light that has never been shown before about this city that some people call home. I mean, there's people that I know that actually grew up here and they, they showed me some beautiful places that I didn't even think that actually exist. So, just like every other city in the world, like I said, Joburg is also beautiful and it's also one of the most well-known cities in in the globe. I was going to say in the continent, but no, in the world. So, hey, big shout out to Joburg. Yeah.
See, the purpose of this video is not to say Joburg is the most perfect city in the world. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm actually saying is, despite all its flaws, all its negative parts that it's famously known for, Joburg is the only city in the world that you can actually be able to achieve a high level of success that most people actually dream about. Even in the perfect little cities that they claim to be safe, and perfect so this is why I chose Joburg out of all the cities in the world and I mean One, two, three, go. Show. 